Juanita. Thank you, Juanita. And we'll also be hearing from Ben Richmond with the Louisville Urban League a little bit later. It, it, congratulations. That's great. Anyway, our next speaker is, uh, again, an employee spotlight speaker. Joe Steyer serves as president and CEO of Signature Healthcare. Joe co-led the purchase and sale of Home Quality Management, Inc., a top 20 nationally recognized long-term care organization, to a newly formed Signature Healthcare in 2007. Two years later, Signature Healthcare is one of the 10 largest post-acute providers in the United States and has already achieved several recognitions and awards. He graduated from Bellarmine University with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting and from the University of Miami with an MBA in healthcare administration. Welcome, Joe Steyer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Uh, how are we doing? Um, we're going through this really um, difficult thing. We, we decided to move our headquarters from South Florida um, to Louisville, Kentucky. And so we'll actually be here officially August 1st. Um, if you have any questions, I'll thank you. Thank you. Um, Anybody in the room go through a relocation? Um, very difficult, but I'll tell you the thing, um, why we chose Louisville. I was born here, um, went, went to school here, but moved away 10 years ago. And it came down between Tampa, Nashville, and Louisville. And we really chose the city because of the work ethic, the talent. So I know right now, it's not our best day, it's a tough time for all of us, but we wanted to come and really try to create jobs in Louisville. So the good news today for us is this. Um, we have a corporate office here, and a lot of people in South Florida did not relocate. So we're having more open jobs here in Louisville than we thought. And we're starting to see, basically, we're starting interviews in each department. So Linda Howe, who's in, in the back in the red dress, you all see Linda back there? Um, please see Linda if you're looking for a job around health care. And I want to talk a little bit today about what's going on in Louisville about senior care. And we chose this city mainly because we have Kindred, we have Trilogy, we have senior care, we have now city health healthcare. So you're seeing a big, what we call economic cluster model it's becoming very popular today that we're starting to see that this city could be kind of national um, leader of senior care, which is our fastest growing health care space. So if you're interested in senior care, I find that field to be most fascinating and most rewarding. It's a spiritual field. It's got an um, amazing impact on lives. So I just really love being in the senior care field. So I'm going to walk through a couple of quick slides today and, um, and get some details. Um, first thing is, is that our goal originally was most people in the room don't like nursing homes. Not to give you so many details, our goal is to blow them up and change them. And I think most people in this room want more options. So we're kind of a radical company that's trying to revolutionize nursing homes in the country, mainly in the southeast part of the country. Um, what I'm going to highlight here is a lot of these are new companies. And I think if you're in the room trying to find a job, what I've noticed in myself in my last 20 years is the world's being, there's more small companies inside of big companies. So you look for jobs. A lot of these are niche companies. Think about getting into a big company, even to a smaller division, just to start your career out. So in our company, we're very entrepreneurial driven, and we started a new company about every 120 days. When we come here in August, we have seven new companies that are going to start in Louisville that will be spinoff companies. So keep in mind that small business can become big business, and just getting back in the door is the key lead there. Um, really quick, there's seven nursing homes, about 11,000 employees. Um, I think us relocating, relocating to Kentucky was a great thing. And you'll see that basically um, um, we're, we're about the top 10th, 10th, 12th largest in the country. Um, and real quick, the changing world today for us, even as an employer, my dialogue and interviews is much different than before. And I think what we're seeing today is, is I've had to learn to be flexible. When I grew up in Louisville as a kid, I thought I'd work at one company for 50 years. And today we're going to look at, as an employee, we've got to look at now five different companies. And I met a lady earlier who had spent almost three decades with Humana. And change is hard, but every time I change companies, I'm on my sixth company. Every time I change companies, um, it's been a rewarding experience. I'm actually enhanced. I would tell you, don't fear change. Every environment's got new things. But I look back and think those changes were really important to me. I think the more we're open to change, the better off we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to change titles a lot. I've been a CFO. I've been a CEO. I've been a COO. A lot of different titles in my career. And we'll see today, we're going to change six times. So when you come to interview, try to craft your questions in Q&A around that job, but also open up the doors to other opportunities. We may, we may just like you and feel a connection, and it may not be that job, but when people leave the room, we always say, I like that person. Are they open to change? Will they take a, a job in their division? Will they start over? So I think it's so important you're flexible, and when you interview, you present flexibility. 
Um, real quick, obviously, we're, we're, we're going to relocate. Um, a lot of people are, which is hard for Louisvillians. We love Louisville. We never leave, um, which is tough. But I think relocation is hard. And right now, we're going through relocation ourselves. Um, and we'll move three times. Now, talk a little bit about phenomena today. Um, this recession right now has been so hard because it's a really the largest man session ever. We've never had so many white-collar Americans laid off, so many men in general. So for our company, we did, we saw the men being laid off. In the past two years, we started a brand-new furniture factory down in Tennessee and employed, employed a bunch of laid-off um, stakeholders that are making great American furniture now that's green environmental. We're adding that plant and jobs, which we love. Thank you very much. And, um, and, and this year, we, we, we were fortunate enough to put back 250 males back to employment um, in, in major jobs. So we do think America can still make great things. We can still make great products. It does not have to always be sent overseas. So we're very interested in light manufacturing. Also, we started a construction company now that employs 100 people that basically are building new construction buildings. A lot of ways we can go back to work if we're creative and flexible in the process. So we see this man session has really been a shock to all of us that it wasn't going to happen. I would tell you today, if you're down, um, I went through a really difficult um, time in my life where a company went through bankruptcy and got shut down, and it kind of hurt my self-esteem. I know it can be hard, but right now I'm telling you, Louisville's got a great work ethic. We're creative people. We're faith-based, and this city can rise back up and add a lot of jobs quickly. I really believe that. Other thing we're going through, thank you. Other thing right now we're learning in our company is that is that work became the new neighborhood. So today we're seeing that as a, as, a, as a company, if you join our company, one of our pillars is spirituality. We have learning. We have entrepreneurship. So as a three-pillar company, we've had to build our company different than my dad's company um, 20 and 30 years ago. So you're going to see basically around our piece much more wellness, walking clubs together, jogging clubs, reading clubs, Bible classes. We integrate all that in our company. So if you come to our headquarters, which will open in August, you'll see a radical change about wellness, flexibility, lifelong learning. That's going to be a real big part of that. Um, a helpful hint real quick, once again, is that we sense passion. Do not be down. If you sense passion in an interview, you want to help that person. So f be passionate about what you want to do. Be very flexible about your skills. We've hired people and said, even though they have no experience, we'll try them over a brand new division just because we like them and they're passionate. So it's all about your faith and your, and your energy and your passion. Try to present that side and do not feel beat down because layoffs have happened all across the country and this setback can be a big thing for us and a chance for a new, new, new career. Going a little deeper in this thing, in, in our workplace, you'll see a little about dual domains. Um, more of our jobs now that we hire people are around change processes and project managers. So we're not hiring people for one job anymore. We're hiring them for more of a flexibility. Can they do three or four roles? So the ability to be flexible, be a change agent, and having two domains comes into play. Here's a quick picture of our, um, of our pillars. So you can see the pillars here. Um, you see the, the, the spirituality. It's around interfaith. It's not, it's not Christian or Jewish or Muslim. It's interfaith spirituality. We have a, lot, a lot of prayer, a lot of wellness from the company. You see entrepreneurship. We have a company where if you found the new idea in our company, you get founder stock in the new company. So, so far we've had nine new companies start from stakeholders who had new ideas. We think the new ideas come to the bottom, and we've got to embrace those ideas as a think tank. So we see a way to start new companies every day in an entrepreneurship way. And lastly, we're a learning company. So in the room, we've got to be lifelong learners as we think about our career. And here's a great chance for you all to learn new things and think about where our future holds. Um, right now, we have 125 jobs at our corporate office opening August 1st. You'll see about half are finance, 20% are executive. We're going to 170 jobs in the first 18 months. Um, we're very excited that the governor is very excited about us coming here. So it's going to be a fast-growing home office in the area. We also opened up a new innovation center down at Nucleus, you may have saw in the paper with Dr. Ramsey, and that's going to be an incubator for startup companies. That's where our seven new companies will be starting next year, where we start new companies beyond this. So we think we're going to engage a lot of Louisvillians. Um, I grew up here. I think it's the best place in, to live in the world. I love being back. So if you need anything, come see me and Linda afterwards. We'll be in the booth over here. And I uh, want to make sure you get a chance to see Central Healthcare. I think it's the best place to work. I've been at the company 10 years. It's had a great impact on my life. Thanks very much. Thank you.